Hi, this lecture is going to be on how you can run your cloud function locally, that is in your local machine. So there are two ways in which you can do this. You can use a framework called as functions framework. Now this comes in multiple languages and you can choose based on the language of your preference. Or you could also use something called as build packs. So when you're using build packs, what happens is your cloud function gets encapsulated over a Docker container and you would be running that Docker container to run your cloud function locally. So let's proceed and let's see how these two frameworks work. So the first thing you do is you can go to the GitHub account for GCP and then in find a repo, you can just type function. So when you type function framework, you will see multiple repos that are available for multiple languages. Here I will be using Node.js. So this would be the library that I would be using to run my cloud function locally. So let's go ahead and let's see how this works. So to run this locally, the first thing I will do is I will create my node project. So let me make a new directory. So let me go into my new directory. And here I'll do an NPM in it to start to create my NPM project. I just choose everything as default. I will create my index.js file. So let me go to my directory and let me create an index.js file. And this will have a normal hello world program written in it. So let me open this. So I have this piece of code, I'll be just copying this. So this will just re return back a hello world message to the user. So the next thing I need to do is I need to install that function framework library. So let me do that. So I'll just paste this npm install and let it download this particular library. Okay, once that is done, I can just check my package.json file. So you can see that there is a dependency for that library. So after you've added your dependency, you also need to add a start script in your JSON file. So you need to add the function on framework and in this target, you need to name, you need to add the name of your particular function. So my function is currently named hello world. So this is the name that you would put in your target. So let's close this and let's run this particular function locally. So all that you need to run your function locally is just do an NPM start. And you can just open your local host URL. So once you open your local host URL at port 8080, you can see that this fun function has properly executed and you can see the output in the browser. So the next thing we will do is we will try to debug this particular function. So now let's try to run this function using a debugger. So for this, I'll use the node inspect. And here I just need to mention my name of the module and again the target which should have the function name as the value. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste it. To get more information on how debugging works, you can just go to your Node.js application and see how debugging works. So this is the URL which I'll paste underneath. So once I've enabled the debugger, the next thing I need to do is I need to go to my Chrome inspect. And I need to wait for a few seconds and it'll open my remote target. So I can just click on inspect here. And here I need to add my source code destination. So I'll just click on add folder. So my source code is in Node.js one and I'll select this particular folder. Okay, I need to click on allow. 
So here you can see your source code now. So I'll just open my source code. Again, this is just the hello world code that I had previously written. And here you can add your debugger. So I'll just click on this particular line. And if I try to run this particular code, you can see that the debugger here is enabled. So this is how you could use a debugger to debug your particular source code. So that's it for this particular lecture. In my next lecture, I'll show you how you can use your containers to debug or to run your code locally.